City officials tell me their biggest concern is safety. They say they don't care how much money it's going to cost to tear this church down, but it needs to happen as soon as possible. It's a century old church with a lot of history. The former Holy Trinity Church now facing demolition after the roof collapsed yesterday. I come back from being out and he's like, I'm like, what happened to the church? And he was like, the roof came down. I was like, oh my God. City officials said the church sat abandoned for over 20 years. And in that time, the wooden roof started to rot, sag until it finally gave way. Two 80 foot bell towers still stand, and that's a major concern. The towers are very high, and they're structurally sound right now because that's not what collapsed, but they have to come down. And once we remove everything around them, they don't become as stable. We have to determine how to get them to fall so that they don't fall into anything else. Contractors brought in drones to assess the damage and determine what it's going to take to tear it down. The plan right now that's safe is to pull what's left standing in. Right now, uh, our only concern is making it safe here in this area because cars go through here, kids go through here, people walk through here, people live in this area. City officials say it'll take a day or two to get it torn down. The church doesn't belong to the city and leaders have been trying to contact the owner for years to have her tear it down, but haven't been able to find her. Therefore, they'll have to foot the bill, which is expected to top $100,000. We've also contacted our uh, Steel Rivers Council governments to notify the county to see if there are any funds that can assist us. Obviously, you know our financial situation, something of this stature, not sure of the cost, but would, would uh, is really not in the budget this year. As for the people who had to evacuate their homes, city officials tell me that they will not be allowed back until the church is torn down and it is deemed safe. That could be up to a week. Reporting in Duquesne, Caitlin Sykes, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Thanks, Caitlin.